multiple accounts, shot spotter increases the chance of officers catching shooting suspects, but it also can make an officer's job more dangerous. It did last night for two officers pursuing a shooting suspect on the railroad tracks when they were hit by the outbound South Shore train. They got to the scene so quickly they were able to chase the suspect. Certainly because we are getting there quicker, uh, we are catching the individuals and that does pose a greater danger to our officers. They're getting there faster because of shot spotter technology. These sensors record the sounds of gunfire and quickly show police exactly where to go to search for the shooter. The officers can actually, they arrive to the scene somewhere between five and seven minutes before a 911 call. And that gives us more opportunity to arrest the offender and actually intervene in some things. Like this incident last May, the sounds of gunfire caught by shot spotters sent officers to the porch to investigate, and one suspect takes off. There's a foot chase down an alley. The offender turns. Police shoot him. Nobody go near that weapon. A gun was recovered, a potentially life-threatening situation for the officers. For now, the FOP and city officials agree the shot spotter program is helping the city battle its crime problem. That's not a bad thing for the city of Chicago. But it ended tragically for officers Eduardo Marmaleo and Conrad Gary. They were bonding to shot spotter, doing their job, trying to protect the rest of us. In September, ShotSpotter announced a multi-year, $23 million deal with the Chicago Police Department to cover 12 Chicago police districts, about half the city's districts.